Hey guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we've got something pretty cool. We got this really cool A-frame uh, cottage style house that's kind of built into the earth here. Very, very sweet. And I'll just do a little pan around so you guys can see. And then a little swoop inside. Super cozy. Nice little starter base for sure if that's what you guys are looking for and uh, without further ado let's jump in and how to make this bad boy okay first thing that you guys want to do is you want to get a 12 by 12 box going and then from there we just go right to the sides Put that first layer of wooden stairs in throw it up like this and then we're just gonna connect it on both sides here and we're gonna go up to six on each side right there and we're just gonna mimic it just like so and this is even blocks so it's a little weird for most people most people build in the odd uh, odd blocks but that is a-okay we're not afraid to get weird and make it look super cool that's the goal whatever looks good works for me and let's get this in right here that up a little bit and right there now we just got to go through with the stripped oaked wood and we're just gonna go straight up don't worry about the door or the windows yet we'll just get that in in a minute and we're just bringing it up right up against these and then we'll do the same on this side just like so all right, and then we're just gonna go straight across on the top side here, on everything. Just go ahead and fill it all in with this stripped oak log block. And yes, this is a little expensive for a starter base, but at the same time, it's not too bad. A little wood chopping with an iron ax, a few minutes, you'll be a a-okay, I promise you. And bring it across. Just like so. Alright, and then next thing we want to do is we want to pop in our door. Just like that. And we can go ahead and place the spruce door along with knocking this block out and put an oak stair. And we're going to knock these two out. I'm going to put a spruce trap door on each side. I'm going to fill it in with white stained clay. And <clears throat> we're also going to knock these two out give it that cool look and then <clears throat> we'll go to the back side here clear up the weather and we're gonna knock these two blocks out and then knock that third block out and put the wooden stair there and this is our other window and we're not gonna worry about the spruce trap door on this one and then from there we're just gonna go through and put all kinds of uh, oak through here and just change it up and so just really no rhyme or reason to it. Um, just trying to give it some texture here. So just knock some of it out. Make it look a little run down, if you feel me. Like I said, no no perfect rhyme or reason to this. There's not going to be one that's you know better than the other, but just helps it give a nice lived-in textured look. And then we're going to do the same on the sides here. Just like so. Looks good. I'm gonna go to the back. Just like that. Knock this little guy out. And that will do it. And then the final step here is we're just gonna go through with some leaves and cover this bad boy up. And again, kind of no rhyme or reason to this. Just wanted to have a cool, nice uh, feel to it. And uh, I do like to drape these across the front. Gives it a really nice cool look. So that's really the only piece of advice I'll give you. Just try to drape it across one of the uh, front, uh, or one of the higher points here. And that should look pretty cool for you guys. And then just go ahead, kind of cover all over. 
And the only thing I'm really making sure to do is that it's touching here. Other than that, it is pretty much up to your discretion how this looks. Just like so. And then we'll bring one down through here. Perfect. And then we're just going to go ahead and put some bushes in. And again, kind of no rhyme or reason to this. Whatever bush design works for you works for me. And then we're going to do one up towards the front. Perfect. And actually, let's just go and knock that guy out. All right, now we got the full outside done. Let's go. Oh, actually, uh, we got to add these spruce slabs across here. Almost forgot. Just to give it a little more texture. And this looks a little wonky when you first see it, but I promise you, it really adds a lot here. So we'll go through with the, the slabs first. And then we'll go through with the trapdoors. And this is just, again, to give it some more texture. Make it look really cool. Again, kind of broken up, a little lived in and whatnot. Just like so. And there you have it. The full outside done of this beautiful base. Now let's move on inside. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to knock out this first bottom layer here so that we can put a flooring in. And we're just going to go ahead and do the spruce planks here for our flooring. Just like so. And perfect. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to break it up a little bit by doing some of these, uh, the spruce logs. Give it some texture. Again, no perfect rhyme or reason to this, just making it have some really cool texture. Giving it that lived in feel. All right, and I do go the same uh, the same direction on this that way it feels like a floorboard all right and then from there we're just gonna go and fill this side in right here this little block we don't need that perfect and then we're just gonna get some barrels and we're gonna go all the way up here four or five all right and then we're gonna go down here with these ones facing up Perfect. And then we're just going to go with a spruce fence like that. And then we're going to add spruce trapdoors on the side, spruce trapdoor up here, and spruce trapdoor right there. And then we're going to knock this one out right here and put a cauldron just like so. And then I do have these in here, but you can guys can hang some lanterns just wherever you like. And I uh, gave yourself some lighting. I just wanted to put that in before we started here. And then we're going to go ahead and do some seating. And grab some oak. Go er, right here. Just like so. And then I'm using a scaffolding as our table block. Just like so. Alright, and then we're just going to throw on a bed. So first thing I want to do is put some bookshelves down in this corner. And then we're just going to put a spruce... Uh, spruce stay right there and then we're gonna go two beds spruce trap doors on each side and then place these right here perfect and then we're just gonna put signs on the bottom here perfect and they have a really cool looking bed and then we're just gonna put one upside down spruce right there and get these back and then we're gonna hit spruce trap doors again and then we're gonna put a little armor stand on top of here and you can do whatever you want here I put some diamond armor but whatever you're feeling is awesome and works perfectly fine and then I tucked the chest away back in the corner here just give us a little bit of extra storage all right and then we're just gonna also go ahead and throw in some stairs here and just cover all the way up through here give it a nice rounded feel and we will stop right there and just leave it like that. And whatever space you put those in, just don't even worry about it. Looks pretty cool. And then we're also going to knock these two out. And uh, we're going to leave that for a little window. And we'll get to that in just a minute. But we'll leave that for now. And then we're going to go through some decorations. So I, I'm using a light blue banner here to use as a curtain. But you can go with whatever your heart desires. 
And then we're also going to throw some color in with a rug. And so I'm going with the light blue one more time. And then also cyan. And putting it just like that. All right, and then to get to these windows here, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna knock these out right here, and then we're just gonna go across with four slabs, just like so. We'll do the same on the other side, and perfect. And then we're just gonna cover it with a little white stained glass, just like so. And now you got your full outside, totally forgot about that. And then we're gonna go here, and actually I did not mean to place these. We're gonna go straight up, Go ahead and knock these out. Knock this out as well. And then you can go ahead and knock these out. We're just going to bring that all up. And then we're going to go to the side here with a stair. And then to the side here with a stair. And then we're just going to bring it straight down like so. And then do an upside down one just like that. And have a furnace right there. And then we're going to go outside and finish this bad boy off. I went with a little bit of an abstract kind of theme here, but I thought it looked pretty cool. And we'll go and knock that out. And then we need our stair here. Alright. Just like so. There we go. And then a couple more. And then right here, we're just going to place our campfire. And that is going to give it a cool smoky effect at the top and then we're going to place a half slab on top and then right there got your cool looking uh, <clears throat> chimney all right and then the last little bit here is we're just going to throw in a little bit of decoration so got some sea pickles here to look like cups this is also going to serve as cup and this will also serve as cup just give it some cool life and then we'll go up here and we'll put a little flower in the flower uh, flower pot and then we can go outside and let's just go through with some flowers and stick them wherever we so desire and then get a couple of little ones them all around just like so give it some life really helps bring a place to life when you add this kind of color and this kind of pop and whatnot so go ahead and toss some of this in and don't be too scared to get pretty heavy with it. I'm just going with three right here but you're more than welcome to throw a whole lot more than that. And we'll just stick that all together and that looks pretty good. And that right there guys is the entirety of our little cottage build. Pretty cool. I think it comes out super super nice and it's a super cool little addition to whatever Minecraft world you're working on. Uh, it kind of fits in anywhere. So <clears throat> let me know let me know what you guys think of this build. Something I'm super happy with and I uh, hope you guys like too. Stay tuned for the next one because I got something pretty cool planned. I'll flash a little picture of it right now. And hopefully I'll get to show you guys how that one works as well. Hope you like it. Stay tuned and stay excited. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see all you beautiful wonderful people in the next episode.